Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about external sharing. By default, this is enabled on group team sites and also on the default classic team site, the one that's created when you start your Office 365 tenancy. So that's the first thing. In order to share information with external users, you need to have a site collection that is enabled for external sharing, otherwise it won't work. So you can, of course, enable external sharing on communication sites and classic team sites that are created through the SharePoint Admin Center, but uh, these are the two types where it's enabled by default. And I've shown how to create classic team sites in other demos. As I said, the default classic team site already has it enabled. So let's move on to the users. So these are the types of site collections. There are three types of users. Uh, there are Office 365 organizational accounts. They can be either in this tenancy or in another tenancy. You can share information between tenancies. So when you have a license for SharePoint in one tenancy, you can also see other SharePoint content in other tenancies. And there's the Microsoft account. And if you have a Microsoft account, which of course is free, then you can log in and be authenticated against the SharePoint site. And then it's the anonymous users and any email address. And I'll focus on the first two, or I'll focus actually on the Microsoft account. That's the most useful one. So let's go and do that. So I'm going to go to the site that is um, enabled for external sharing, this one. I'm going to click on share. And here I'm going to type the account name that I have for external sharing, and that is kdemo contoso at outlook.com. Right. So uh, as you see, this is outside of your organization now. And that's an important thing. If your site collection did not have external sharing enabled, then you would get an error message at this point. Second thing that you need to make sure that you do is of course to show the options here. And that allows you to select whether you want to send an email invitation and also most importantly, which permission level this new user will have in the site collection that you're inviting him or her too. So let's do this, share now. Now this is shared with this external user. Now we're in kind of a middle limbo stage here. I can see that this invitation has gone out, but if I go back to my site settings here and look at the site permissions, and then I wanna check which permission does this user have, you'll notice that it can't be found and it doesn't actually give any permission. Even though I've invited this user and this user has permission now, I can't see that user because that user doesn't really exist. It gets created once I accept the invitation. So let's go and do that. Let's accept the invitation. I'm going to open in private browsing window and then go to outlook.com and log in with this um, account. And there, there's the invitation that was sent just now. So I'll click on that and it, see that I uh, have an invitation to join the KDemo22 team site. So let's open that. And now I get the option to select whether to log in with a Microsoft account or an organizational account. And this is of course a Microsoft account. So I'll log in with that. And now I'm logged in. As you see, I see the context here. And I gave myself edit permissions. That means that I can edit pages, I can add pages, and I can add an app, create views, and of course, upload, partake in the news feed, all kinds of interesting things. I can also go back now and check their permission again and see that this user has indeed been created now. There we go. Check. And there you see that, that user has indeed edit permission through being a member of the team site members group. So that's fine. So now we have shared the entire site. And this means, of course, that the Microsoft account has access to everything on a site. And that's really good if you want to have extensive collaboration with a person outside your organization. However, sometimes you just want to share one single document. And of course, you can do that also in SharePoint with external sharing. So now this sales procedure doc is of course already shared because the entire site is shared, but if it wasn't, you could uh, go ahead and share just that document like that. 
and now uh, you can select which permissions you have. Of course, you, you can share it with people in KDEMO 22, the tenancy, people with existing access or specific uh, people. So uh, if, if I send it to anyone, and I can select allow editing, or, and I can also set an expiration date, how long I want this to be available, like that. So now I will just select anyone there. I need to zoom out a bit to see the OK button here. There we go, the apply. Let's do that. So now I'm going to share this document with allow editing with a um, non-Microsoft account, a Gmail account, and then send the invitation there. And of course, this is also an external user. So let's start another browser. Let's do go with Chrome and log in there and do an incognito window in Chrome and then go to Gmail and log in as the kdemo fantoso at gmail.com that I just invited. And here's my invite. Peter Kelmstrom shared this document with you. Now I can open that document. As you see, I get directly into this um, Word Online. I can see where it's at, but I can't go back to the document library. I can't go back to the site, but I can indeed edit this in the browser. And let's just do an edit here and let's make that the background color green. That would be beautiful. And as you see, it's already the same. So let's go back to my site. And what we should see now is that it's been updated, not five days ago, but a few seconds ago by guest contributor. That's very important. So if I open that here, I can see that that change has indeed been uh, recorded there. All right, so that shows you how to share the entire site with a Microsoft account and also how to share anonymously so you can let people view or edit your documents without them having to log in or even have a Microsoft account or an organizational account. Thank you for watching this demo.